defensive philosophy for Scott Skiles is that uh, we contain the basketball at all costs, all right? And it starts in what we term our 55 defense, okay? And so I'm going to bring some of the players out, and we're just going to get straight into it. Uh, give me uh, two of the big guys. Big guy, big guy, all right? One takes the ball out there, need a ball, please, and the other can defend him, all right? Then I need uh, uh, two, guards, uh, two guards, both offense and defense, all right? And I need uh, another uh, post player down, say about three-quarter court here, another big guy. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Offense, defense, all right? And we need, need a defender down there. Who wants to defend him, all right? And then we're going to need another two wings. So I need a wing there. One here. Offense, defense, two players. Offense, defense, two players over here, all right? So just slot in, all right? And so our philosophy is to contain the basketball at all costs. And how we do that is when the guard gets open, say the guard gets open, and, all right, we like to shadow the basketball, all right? So right now he's not a threat, is he? Because he's behind the ball. Make sense? All right, so right away we would bring this defender. Often it's one of the bigs, all right? If that big guy can't shoot, right, even better, all right? Now our philosophy is on defense, whether it's in the full court, or the half court is three guys are guarding the basketball. All right, so you've got the ball, don't you? You would be here in the middle of the floor helping your teammate in a defensive posture, keeping your eye on that guy so he doesn't get behind you. All right, never let the guy go behind you. You're always containing the ball. And then this third defender, all right, is the, probably the most important one. All right, so this is the offensive player right now. We want to take away sideline passes as many as we can, all right? You never want to let the ball come up the sideline 20, 30, 40 foot passes, all right? So being a third defender, you're going to be up the line on this, aren't you, all right? Imagine there's a string between the ball and your defensive man. So you just can reach an imaginary string that you can reach out and touch it. That way he can't throw that sideline pass, all right? As the ball comes up the floor, all right, you're going to track down, you're going to contain the basketball, freeze it right there. Okay, so now, if the ball's on that side of the floor, where should you be? Yeah. Right? So, so now come make on your over, way over, right? exactly. So, you know, there's an imaginary line from rim to rim, all right? Right now, we've got four on the ball, all right? And you're always protecting the basket, all right? You're never letting your guy flash up high to take the pressure away, all right? We want to keep the pressure to the sideline. We're a no middle basketball team, right? Probably every NBA team, most every college team is a no middle, keep it sideline team. As the ball advances up, we don't look to trap, go ahead and hold it right there, unless we absolutely have to, unless we're down, right? And, and we're, uh, you know, we're under pressure and we need to get a steal to try to get back in the game, maybe late. So as we get into half court, now we're a no middle team, aren't we? Yeah. All right? So you're not letting him dribble middle at all. All right? You're not letting that guy catch it, are you? Okay? You pushed over weak side. Now in the NBA, you can only be in here 2-9 and then you got to get out. All right? Now you can come over here in the NBA and sit right here. But in, in, in high school and, and college, basically you can zone everything off, all right? You're at what we call the nail spot, all right? Here's the nail spot. Who's the defender over here, all right? You're in a perfect spot. You can be even more, you, in, in, you can be in the paint too, all right? Not letting anybody cut into the basketball. So once you get the ball sidelined, all right, now you would hopefully can keep it there, all right? Say the ball goes to the corner here, okay, and he cuts through. All right, and you're going to go all the way out to the other side. All right. Teaching point. Come on back. Come on back. You'll never let a guy cut in front of your face. That's a layup. He will cut right in front of you. All right. You got to make him go behind you. That's what we call an inside cut. All right. Cut. So as he starts to cut on the inside, you yeah. chest him. Now, yeah. still see the ball. All right. Now you're going to open up. Good. All right. Now you're slotted over even more. Now we're going to keep it on the sideline. Say we do a good job there, right? We don't deny passes back to the middle, at least in our pro system with the magic, 
All right. We'll deny wings. All right. If the ball does come back to the middle. Now your responsibility is here to play him straight up. Right. We're not pushing him one way. He's going to try to maybe go either way, and you've got to contain him at all costs. You're going to immediately jump to that elbow. All right. You're already in on that elbow. But now as this ball's being reversed, we would love to take this away, if possible. All right? Not so much that there's a big denial here and he back cuts you and now he gets into the heart, right? And, and then we're in trouble. All right? So you don't want to get back cut. But if you can deny him to the basketball and throw out here, now he's out at 40 feet. All right? He hasn't gotten into the heart of the, uh, the guts here and we're in trouble on penetration. Any questions on that? Once we get into our half court defense, we call it a shell defense. That's what Connor was going over with you. Let's get the ball back over here. This is the most important part. We call this the nail, okay? You're on help side. You got the ball here on the wing. The reason why we want a guy out the nail, because guys in the NBA are good. He'll get beat. You're going to get beat in the NBA right there, your help. We want to force this pass. You want to talk about the stunt here, Connor, what we call a stunt? So you've pushed over, you're at the nail, I'm at this elbow right here, and as this pass comes, I want to stunt, but I'm not, I'm not going to that basketball. We say arrive on the catch, leave on the catch, so now the ball comes here, and I'm playing my man, again, no middle, pushing sideline. Don't let that guy go over the top here. Okay. And the reason we stunt, because that guy's going to hesitate when the guy's coming at you. Come and stun out. I'm ready to shoot you stunning. That's going to give the defender time to get back, because the guy's going to hesitate when he see a guy coming at him. That's why we stunt, just to buy time for our defender to recover. The best players in the world, in the NBA, are affected by just that stunt, believe it or not. We see it night in and night out on film. You know, that guy's a great three-point shooter, right? And the ball comes to him, and I'm just in his vision, right, of his right eye, and he sees me stunt. That allows you to recover, right? And he pauses for a second. Now, he may be great. He may be able to rock or step the guy and rise up and shoot a jumper anyways. But we're hoping by that time you've closed and contained. So take it back on this side. So on the reversal... All right, we would want to stunt there, correct? All right, now as the ball's gone here, so, so bring it back over here. We'll do this. So when the ball comes to him, stunt and recover. Ready? Yep. Go. Perfect. Good. Okay, now we're going to teach this guy. This player on the bottom half of the court, he's also going to stunt. So bring it back over on this side. So this guy, what's your name? Josh. Josh is going to stunt for the stunner. Yep. All right. There's the first stunt. And believe it or not, Josh, is that ball is bring, brought to the middle. Go ahead and stunt. All right. Now there you go. swing it. Stunt to a recover. All right. So let's try it at kind of I don't know, then we'll 50, switch 60, it up. 50 yep. 60 speed, right? So everybody in a defensive stance, all right? You can be like this right now, can't you? And we forgot one thing about our stick hand. This is what we do. We're big stick hand team. So when we're going to guy who hasn't shot the ball, we're always like this with our way back. We call this our stick hand. It sort of deters the guy from raising up and shoot. Scott Skiles been a great defensive coach in this league for a lot of years. It's because of this system. So when you guard a great shooter, he always wants this stick hand. Even if you're moving the ball, move the ball around. He wants a disciplined stick hand. But when you put it on the floor, that's when you bring it down. But when he picks it up, keep that stick hand up. Would you want to shoot the ball if I had a stick hand up on you? That's why we do it. Go ahead, Con. There you go. Start so, with so the what stick we're gonna hand. do now? You're in, right? You're probably gonna be a little bit higher. Let's put you down, sh short right corner. Remember, that's your man right there, right? So, ball, you man, you see, right? Now you can see both, right? If you look straight ahead, you can see both, can't you? All right. So now you're gonna be able to stunt for him when that ball is. In flight to that guy, you should be able to stunt and recover. All right? Throw Just it. stick hand right there. Stunt. Stunt. Good. Good. Pretty good. All right? Yep. 
as Mario alluded to just then, all right, this guy's now caught the basketball, all right? And after he's come here, if you have your hands down, he's going to bang a three on you, all right, if he's a shooter, all right? If he's a driver and you know your personnel and your coach has done a little scouting beforehand and so he knows who the drivers and shooters are, all right, this guy may be a non-shooter. We still want that stick hand, but it's probably not that much of an aggressive one. You're going to play off of him just a touch because he's going to come on the bounce, all right? So let's bring it back here. We're going to go live here, all right? Here's what I'm going to do. Good stick right? hand right there, You're going to come from half court, all right? You're going to dribble the basketball in, all right? You're going to square him up. All eyes are on the ball carrier. And then we're going to throw and we're going to stunt and stunt. Uh, you got one more, Coach? Yeah, there you go. Who's my defensive guys? Okay, defense. So, there we go. So we won't get confused. How much of this is new? How much of this is old hat for you guys? Somebody speak up. New, old? What's that? A mix? All right. How many of you is it completely new to you? One. All right, so you have, you've, had, you've had quite a bit of this then. Right there. All right, give yourself a little space. Keep the ball on the sideline. Here we go. Okay, so you're going to dribble the basketball in. Contain Good. him. Good. Ready? Get the stance. Once he pick it up, stick. All right, go ahead and swing it. Swing it. Stunt. Stunt. Nice job. Good. Perfect. Perfect. All right. We want now, that stick up. We want that stick up. You know why? Because guys in the NBA, this is what they do. This is what they do. Stick your hand out like the way you did. That's what they do. Foul. That's why I want that stick up here. You know, all the guys in the league, Durant, all of them. You got that hand out, they're going to do that. So keep that stick up. Ball Thank back you. with lefty there. All right. So again, Good. In, the, stick. in the full court system that we talked about earlier, we don't deny this middle reverse pass. And I'll show you why. Now get up and play him. Say we're trying to deny that pass, you can attack him, you can get into the heart of the defense, now there's problems. You can get on the rim, get a foul, get the foul line, draw this guy in, we got three on, the, we got three on that, or he may drop it to you and you may get a layup, all right? So that's why we don't deny the middle, all right? Some coaches do, some coaches deny everything, all right? Now, so what we're going to do is, we're going to start it again. We're going to swing it, we're going to go stunt, stunt, and I want you to throw it to the corner after you catch it, all right? Pause it for a second, throw it back to lefty here, and then I want you to take him up close with a stick hand on him, all right? Normal stuff, close, right? Now I want you to go middle on me, go ahead, right? You're going to contain him, right? Now you're going to flow there, right? You're going to kick to him, now you get, then you're going to recover and, and, and play him, all right? Just that action alone, all right? So we're going to stunt the stunner, swing it around, a little penetration, contain it, and, and then we'll stop the drill. Go ahead. Keep the ball on the sideline, baby. Good, good. Stunt, stunt. Where the stunts? Good, good. Good. Now swing it back. Good. Way to be good. at the next stunt. Hey. Nice job, guys. Nice That's job. That's what I was seeing. So everybody see? He's stunted, right? He's stunted as this, I don't know your name. What's your name? Tyler. Tyler contained the basketball, and this is the tough gig right here. He's got to contain, and as that ball back there, you'd flow a little bit, wouldn't you, that way. You'd go that, right? Ball's coming to you, so you'd go away. As that ball goes, he's contained him. Now, he's counting on his mate to stunt for him, right, as he recovers and tries to square this guy. But that's the hardest one off of penetration, right? to get that mentality of stunting on the catch for a guy coming off the bounce because usually that's a shot, all right? Let's turn it around, Con. Let's walk over to 55 with the other team going up, yep. and then we'll go into our half-court stun. Y'all go to offense now, the right. guys with the tennis on. So take it out, on. take it out, take it out. Yep, we'll do it down there. What's Orange our defense? What's our defense? What's our defense? 55. Teaching point. You don't ever take the ball out under the basket. Teaching point. All right? Who's Look, my shadow big? Who's my shadow big? You should be off. Yep. You're supposed to be helping yeah. right here on defense. Just shadowing. Yeah, just shadow. Yeah, bring it up the sideline. Yeah, bring it up the sideline. 
No advance passes. Good, okay. good. Now balance the floor out. All right. Let's get two bigs down here. So you, you get in the middle. You that block. You go to that corner. All right. Now we're good. a little bit more balanced. All right. Now we're four out, one in. You're a yep. post player. Okay. So now the ball has it. There you go. Get that stick hand up. Get that stick hand up. All so right. Would you play? Would you play right here? Could you throw that pass? Get ready to catch the ball. Could you throw that pass right to him? Right? So you're going to want to be just up. Right? Now, if you were to throw it, you could deflect it or pick it off. But you still got an eye on him in case he gets beat. And this is another part of the shell we'll, we'll, we'll show here in a few minutes. All right? So now you don't want to be too low. Right? You want to just be up a little bit. All right? So swing the ball. Stunt for the stunner. Stunt. OK, let's try it again. Yep. So swing it back here. All right. Swing it back here. Now we're not out there. We you're at the nail. You're the right? nail guy. You're right there at that nail. The reason you're at the nail, we talked about it. If he gets beat middle, yeah, you got to be there. Then you're going to continue. Then you're going to kick it out. Right. Okay? Attack so the nail guy, then so pitch it so we can get some stunts exactly. out here. Okay? You're gonna, you're come on the dribble here. Got beat middle. Kick it. Full stunt. stunt. Good stunt. stunt. To a contain. Good. Drop. Good. Now you drop. That's wouldn't it you? right there. Drop right back to the elbow. All right? What if he went one dribble there and came back at me right now? One dribble, now come back. Now, now I stunt. Kick. You go stunt close. Form. Heat Good. stunt. Good. Now I'm off. And if he swings, you stun in there. Exactly. Right. Good. Now. If that guy right there is a really good shooter, we're not going to leave. Maybe we're not <laughs> quite as low. Does that make sense? Maybe we're in this because we got to get to him. And there's urgency on that. If that's a Kyle Carver, we'll be very close to him. Knockdown shooter. Guys, do you guys have any questions on this? Everybody get that? You sure? Yeah. Anybody what? in the audience? One thing about being in the NBA, you have a lot of jobs on offense and defense. Offense, you got to score, you got to pass, you got to know the plays, you got to execute them. Defense, you got to stunt, you got to be at the nail, you got to V back as we're going to talk about, you got to come across and help, you got to crack back, you got to be at the nail. I mean, you got a lot of jobs, offensively and defensively. Question? Say again? Man to man defense. No, it's, 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 it's straight man. There are zone principles in it, all right? Yeah. Because, all right, so ball, you've got that guy. No middle. Now, don't open the gate on him, Yeah. right? You, you were go. like this. You can open the gate on me. I'm going straight down yeah. the lane here. You sort of got to right? square him up a little bit. So yeah, square right him there. up. Yeah, there right you go. There. And you're not letting him go middle. So zone-wise, there are certain zones on the floor, all right? This is a zone down here. Small zone. This is an area on the floor that's a zone that you've got certain rules, right? Zone principles, if it was a 2-3 zone, were pushed over from the weak side, all right? We are totally focused on the ball, all right? Totally focused on the ball on that side of the floor. Let me make sure. Look at what, he had, look at what he's looking at here. He got this guy up the lane a little bit. He got this guy at the nail. Look how crowded it is. You got any driving lanes here? No, we want to load the strong side of the ball. That's basically what it is. We're loading to the ball. All the good defensive teams load on the strong side of the ball. So as the ball moves, you guys move, right? Yep. Shift the defense now. Shift the defense. As the ball is over there, should be all the way in here. Yeah, shift the D. Make it look crowded. You should be able to get this long pass here, right? You're fast enough to get that, right? Yeah, close out. Perfect. Yeah, that's why I want this to overload the strong side when the ball is on. Go ahead, Kyle. Let me see the ball right here. OK, so back in your positions, right? Just eyes on me. All right. Everybody knows the question. Yeah, ball's over here. So everybody, guard your man. Ball's there. Just play the corner for me for a second. Play in the corner for me for a second. Yeah, of course. So all of a sudden, now that's the strong side. Yep. And this is the weak side because the ball's not there. That if the big man didn't pop out, say you're on the block here, okay? Come on down lower. He's already got, I like that, he's already, gee, I put your elbow down. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna be in, we are a hard three quarter team. All right? Now there's certain post players in the NBA, maybe we'd white, which means fronting, right? 
and we just invite the lob. The lob is the hardest pass to throw, right? It also takes the most time to complete, right? So you've got a chance to deflect it or get it on the back side. So if he's not popping out a corner, your hard three arm bar, all right? Yep. And you've got an arm bar here. Depending on the rules in your league here, how you can play the post, that's up to you guys and the, co and the coaches, all right? So again, you're no middle. I right, don't open Perfect the gate. Stick though. hand. Good stick hand right there. Right. Yep, good. Look at what he's looking at. Look how crowded it is over here. Man. Ain't no driving lane. We want the ball to see bodies yep. at all times. Question. If there's some kind of weak side motion here, are yep. they still kind of loading towards the ball or are they tightening the man? Great question. So say these two exchange. All right, go ahead and exchange. You just track You just like moving right up to the nail right there. There you go. Right, right there. Now, that's hard, right, especially with, with young players because they lose sight of the, their man. They're so focused on the ball. But most teams have some type of exchange on the backside. There's another question here. Yeah. I always want to knock out one pass away. And as much as you're not helping, just quickly standing and coming back, is that not, how would you teach that in the sense of teaching that stunt as opposed to just sort of running that back and forth pass? Well, if you hurt one pass away and that's a good shooter, then you've done the regardless. Yeah. Now, again, hopefully you've done your scouting yeah. and you know if, if, if the guy out there can shoot. <laughs> so then you're going to tell your teammate, he really can shoot the three. Yeah. All right, so we're going to be a little bit closer to him, but we're still protecting that middle drive here. All right? Would that guy come over further? Everybody's further. pushed over. Right, everybody's pushing. Our philosophy is we prefer jump shots <coughs> than points in the paint. We play percentages. These are high percentage shots. We understand Corver and guys like J.R. Smith. That's one thing about our stunning. We get burned sometime on threes. But when we were doing it right early in the year, we were top five in the league in defense. So we're sort of sputtering a little bit right now. We're trying to find our way back. But Scott's had two number one defensive clubs yeah milwaukee and chicago milwaukee and chicago in his coaching career so his system works um you just got it's a hard it's hard it's you gotta hard. be in shape you gotta be committed to it guys exactly. like, like Connor said we got a young team and they sort of struggling with it because they think it's hard you know winning is hard in the nba you got a question sir no Basketball is a team defensive game. If, if you, know. you don't, if, what does Scott say? Scott says, uh, never relent all right, <laughs> in our message. Never. Because we've seen our defensive player do it, so we know he can do it. It's just he's got to make Getting up his mind to do, <laughs> to do it all the time. And if he doesn't, usually he comes over and sits down. He'll sit down, down and, right next to you. you know. And sits down, yeah. yes. <laughs> We Fortunately, haven't played we yet, haven't played God. the Warriors yet. <laughs> we haven't played them yet. That's, uh, we haven't played them or the Spurs yet, so that's, that's another That's headache. March 11th, <laughs> believe it or not. So we've got that one circled. Um, look, against the Warriors, just a real quick answer. Um, it, it, we're probably going to play a little bit closer to our men. All right? And our principles are going to be a little maybe extended if you want to. So instead of being so tied in on our box and elbows, we'll be out some. Still the same principles of arriving on the catch, stunting, and recovering. Right? But they have multiple guys, as we know, that can. That's really a good thing about the good teams. They got good players that can uh, put, it in a, put it in a hole. Yep. Um, with that, if you are playing a lot closer to your man, where are the vulnerabilities in the defense? Um, all right, so the ball's here and you're playing a lot closer to him, all right? So one of, the, one of the points I made early was that we don't want to get beat, all right? So our, we, we feel if we're up too aggressive and we're all over the basketball, and this is a tough skill to teach young players because as coaches, we want them to be aggressive. We're in their ass. We're yelling at them. We're making them play hard every single time. But you've got to be able to teach this kid right here how to play good position defense. If he's too close, he blows by me, right? If I'm not close enough, he bangs a shot. Or he, sends, he gives me a ball fake and then I come up and he's gone, all right? So that's a, that's a tough thing that you've got to teach, all right? Again, we have the best players in the world and they're not perfect. But we do it every single day.
right? Repetition, repetition. Yes? Are you ever giving your players uh, any opportunity to gamble and change uh, personally, you know, like uh, initiative-based play themselves? Because obviously if I'm being defended by a player and I can work out roughly where he's going to be, where he's going to sit, you get a little bit more comfortable. So did you ever say to them, you can mix up a little bit. If you want to creep, you can creep. If you want to... Yeah, there's, there's, there's that part of it. Um, and as, as you say, you'll, you'll start to figure out what that player's strengths are. Is he sitting in the corner the whole time? Um, is he a driver? Is he a shooter? You know, you might be able to play up on him a, a touch and, and gamble and get a steal. But if you don't get the steal, you're yeah, going to come sit down on the bench. See, we don't got guys like LeBron, you, you know, know. Who, can, who plays the passing lane. We have a young team. We don't have stars. So we need a collective effort for our young group. And we need to be disciplined. And Connor's right. With a young group, you give them that license to do that, they'll be stabbing in the backcourt all day. So you got to implement rules for a younger team and, to and, stay disciplined. And, and they're, you know, they, they, everybody fights the system. Yeah. Young and old, <laughs> you know, so we, as Mario says, we need the collective group. We need all 12 guys every yeah. single night to run the system. And when we run the system, it's beautiful. We're and we lock up team. teams. Yes, sir. Is it possible to repeat the question? Yes. Yes. Okay, sure. Um, where was I? Oh, okay. Um, let's talk about closeouts. Let's all right, so closeout. all of this doesn't really matter if you cannot close out on a player properly and keep him in front. We're going to just okay. go with these four guys. Y'all guys can sit and watch here. Yeah. All right, we're going to talk about it. Be at the nail here. This is what Connor's talking about. Nail. All of you guys, we're just going to go with these, this crew over here. Could, could I get a ball, please? You off the court, son. Yep. This is what we're talking about. You got to stop penetration, you got right? And when you kick out, this is a closeout. You got to stop the ball. This is what I'm talking about when you have multiple jobs on the NBA floor. You have to stop the ball, and then get out and guard your man. Good stick hand. Fantastic. Make sure you keep it up. That's what we call a closeout. Very important that we got the proper footwork, because as you know, get back to the nail. Con, dribble in. Right there. Dribble in again. Guys in the NBA are good. They're going to beat you. Boom, you got to get out here. Guys will get by you. All right, guys are going to get by you. That's why that footwork. So there's is a closeout, but you've already given him a stunt, haven't you? Make sure you give him that stunt All right. there. All right, let's work on a couple closeouts. Because you're stunting for the stunner. As I'm coming middle, right, All right, and that ball, he's stunning at me. Now he's got to recover. Yeah, that's All exactly right. right. Then you get back to yours. Then you got to recover here, too. Right. He may drive you baseline. All right? One of the, go, go ahead. ahead. No, go you, got, you got One of the drills that we do, so uh, offense, defense, offense, defense, offense, defense, offense, defense. You guys can line up here, offense, defense. Yeah, get right. balls. This Everybody get a ball. Yep. Good call, Con. Okay, so we do this every day. Now, we're probably one of maybe three. There's not a lot of defensive teams in the NBA that do this every single day. There's some very, very good defensive teams. But with such a young team, we feel like we have to, all right? And so everybody's got a ball. Face each other, offense, defense, offense, defense right here. Offense, defense. You guys are in twos, offense, defense. Here you go. You guys, two, four, six, two, good. So we're going to demonstrate it. So this is the drill that we do. I'll take it. I'll dribble out to the middle of the court, all right? I'll sit down, I'll work on my ball handling, I'll turn, I'll throw to him. Now he's gonna throw, weights back, stick hands up, all right? And we'll do this, then I'll dribble over to the end line here, all right? Same thing, throw, he'll close, all right? Now we'll do that once, twice, three times, four times, maybe down and back, all right? Then on the second one, we'll be back there, the one dribble. Yep. Now you're gonna go right or left? I'm gonna go right. <laughs> I got one bad hip, I can't do I'm gonna go right. All right, working our ball handling, turn, sit, all right? Now, he's coming, all right? Now I'm gonna go one dribble, all right? So it's a close out to a one dribble, all right? Now we're gonna go two dribbles. Gotta guard two dribbles now. Close. Close. Hand down. Stick. Okay. If you can do that every single day, 
along with your ball handling, along with your, your basic fundamentals. And it only gonna, it takes our group maybe three minutes, right? That's gonna help. Okay, back in your shell spots, guys. Let's I know, let's do this. Let's all of you yeah, do let's it. Let's all do this one Let's time. all of you do it. Yeah, let's all go. Right? So, ball starts right here. This guy gets the ball, all right? He's going right. to dribble to half court. Okay, you're going to turn, dribble to half court, sit down. Nope. Work on your ball handling too, pivot. Okay, turn back around, throw the ball. All right, now you're going to throw the ball and close out on it. Hard close, hard close. Nice job, Good. nice job. Don't get it, way back, way Good. back. Stick hand up. You don't want guys going under the arm. Good. Yeah, weight got to be back, just like here. Yep. So we're going to do this off of that end line. So you two are there, you two are there, you two are in the middle, you two are over there. All right, everybody on that end line and so line out. So we're on full court? No, you're over here. You're over here in this corner. All right, you two over here. You two are next to him. We're, right. we're going to go this Maybe way now. I like now. it, I like Same it. drill going this way. And I just want to show you. Let's go one, two, three, you're four. You're in the middle. All right, give yourself some space, right, so you're not running into each other. So, all right, so go on out. Go. All right. right so there. right there, right there, that's fine. Right there, right. So I'm throwing. So on this side of the floor, facing that basket, and I close out on a guy, which hand should be up? My left. Let's right? see, well, let me see him close out first. Close let me see out which way you go close up. out to him. Nice job, big Good. man. Perfect. All right. Perfect. How about on this side, guys? So uh, how about on this side? What's what hands up on this side? Perfect. Right hand. Close. Good. Way back. Nice job. Yeah, you got length too, man. Be a great defender. Got right. length. In the middle of the floor, you're reading what's his strong hand, probably. His right. Yeah, exactly. There Coaches you go. will know is he a left hand, you're probably gonna close to that left hand nine out of ten times. All right? But again, you're getting in the middle of the floor. What's the most important thing when you've got the guy in the middle of the floor? Square him up, all right? Don't open that gate. So you're going to close on him, right? You're probably going to close like this. Now you can go this way, you know, you're forcing him that way. But really, now you're in that, you're on an island, yeah. aren't you? You're on an island and you're counting on your mate next to you and next to you to help you on penetration right here. There's a stunt to a throw, to a stick, to a stunt. Everybody see that? Okay. On the baseline, let's do this live. Full Some closeouts. Court. Let's go all four right. times. Listen up. Let's go five line, half court, five line, then we'll slide, go all the way down. Slide in just a little bit. Give these guys a little bit more room. Don't run into each other. All right. Technique, so you, keep the weight so back. So we're going to go four times. Up. So you're basically going to go to right about here, a little bit half court, free throw line, end line. All four right. times. Then we'll switch it coming back. There we Not go. full speed, but a good clip. All right. Here we go. We go. want technique. We want to see go. technique. Right yes. here. Good pivot and pass. Throw it. Sprint. Sprint. Close out. Chest pass. Sprint. Nice. Good. Good. On balance. Good stick hand. Everybody. Unbalanced. Good stick hand. All right. Good so job. freeze it right there. Is the gate open too much? A little yeah, bit more. Back. Close it. Good. Laid back right there. Yep. Good. Not too much open. Squared. Right there. Right there. Good. Yep. You're not right letting there. him go middle. Right there. You're not yep. letting him go middle. You're nice pushing job. him baseline. All right. Now, if he were to dribble to the sideline here, your objective is not to meet him there. You would hope to be able to cut him off on this sideline first, all right? Now, if he was lower on the floor and he drove baseline, now your objective is to pick that spot and I got to get there, all right? I got to get there and cut him off at the baseline, okay? Well, let's talk about, we ain't got time to really talk about it, but if he gets beat, this is what we do also. Go ahead. If I'm the bottom big, beat him from the wing, I'll be... Yep. Uh, you, you defense or offense? I'm defense. All right, I'm offense then. In the NBA, we call this 290. So if he gets beat, I got to be there. Then the next There's guy your help. will crack back. And the guy would crack back on the backside so you're not giving up a layup. All right? We would want that pass. If he's going to throw out of this pass, Mario came up and gobbled this guy up. Come gobble him up. All right? The pass that we would want to give back up would be a spin out to a guy filling in behind. We hopefully wouldn't give up a player diving down the middle, right? And we get a layup or a kick weak side. If it's kicked weak side, we've got to travel on flight time and get there and run a three-point shooter off the line. Okay, so you're back to your spots. We're going to keep going down there for close Finish outs. up. Ready? Good. Go. 
Way back, stick hand up. Way back, stick hand up. Go, sprint, sprint. Get out there, guard. Nice job, nice job, guys. Go, go, go. Good pivot and pass. Go, sprint. Good. Change it, offense and defense. Good. Meet y'all down here. Good job, Flip guys. It. Now, one thing that we, again, something that we do every single day, and you wouldn't think that we'd have to do in the NBA, is our passing and our, and our catching, right? How many times you see a young player fling it one hand and a kid reaches out and tries to grab it one hand? Basketball is a two-hand game, isn't it? It's a two-hand game. Our players make the mistake daily, so we, we drill it. We drill it. So guys, when you're throwing a pass, right, when you dribble up here and you turn spin, right? That's what we want. See, now that's not a very good pass, is it? How much did he, ugh, right? Get on back time, to on target. All right, that's not a good pass. Right that's there. That's a good pass. Hit him in the middle of the chest. Good, pretty good. Let me ask you something. Good. If I was penetrating and you're on an offensive player, can I give you a pass like that? You ready to shoot the ball? No. You want a pass like Coach Connor said. I'm penetrating. Two hands, on time, on target. So, coaches, if you, you know, running's a great weapon. <laughs> you know, you start kicking the ball around the gym, you turn over, you know, and, and one kid's a multiple offender of, of making repeated mistakes. You know, running's a good thing. We do it, we do it at, the, at, at, at our level, too. So, get their Let's attention. Let's finish up. Let's go. Let's finish up here. Here we go. Sprint to the closeout. Sprint Ready? to the go. closeout. Sprint, good. Good passes, two hand good pass, passes. Two hand catch. Good pass. Good. Perfect pass. Hold up. Good, good. Stick hand, nice stick hand. Wide base. Good job, good job, good job. That's the way to go, baby. Come on, get that stick hand up. Sprint there, sprint there. Get there. Nice job. Way to keep that weight back. Great job. Go. Great job. Let's go. Nice Good. job, boy. Right back in your five spots. Just need one ball. Toss the other balls to, to the coaches in the, in, in the stands there. Just one ball. One ball, one ball. Back to the, our very first lineup. All right, we're going to finish with a stunt for the stunner drill. All right, ball's yes, going to be here in the corner. Just what right, we balls worked here on in the corner. Today. Just what we worked on All today. Right. You're going to be That's down way to be engaged. farther in the corner. All right. This okay. your man right here. You at the nail. Right, you're at the nail. You're right here at the nail. All right. He now, already. we've protected the paint. Haven't we? Right no here. middle. Yep, right there. All right. Seeing your man in ball. Good. Because you're, you're helping this guy, if he came off the dribble, right, you could stunt and recover. All right? So back off just a little bit. Take, we're going to start this one dribble to a kick to a stunt, stunt. And we're going to stunt on the backside, too. Three stunts. All right? You're going to pause it just for a second, throw it. All right? Stunt. And recover. Move that ball right. around. We want to see the stuff. Here we go. Let's go. go. Move the ball around. Quick. Quick. Jay, good, good stuff. Swing it. Swing it. Swing it. Quick. Good. Good, good close right. out there, baby. Good close out. Take one dribble middle, and we're going to go back around. Go. One dribble middle. Help. Kick it. Stunt. Stunt. Now nah, get Stunt. out. Stunt. Good stuff Stunt. there, baby. Good. 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 Swing it. Just pass it. Yep. Move it around. Move it around. Yep. Quick. Quick. I'll move quick. Look at Shift Off the, the dribble. Good. Take a dribble. Pass it. Good. Stunt. Shift the D. Good. Stunt. Stunt. Good. Off the dribble. Good. 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 Nice job, guy. Way to fly around the court. Hold it. Switch it up. Flip it. Yeah, good job. Offense, Why? defense. Way to fly around the court. Get guys, a stance. Most important. Hold up. We want to protect here. You're in. Protect the paint. Now you can't see him. shots in there. You can't wanna see him right now. Paint. Because he's behind you, isn't he? Get low. So, now you can see him, can't you? Now you can see the ball and him, all right? If he goes up, you can go up a step, all right? You're in right now, you're in right in the middle, all right? Doesn't matter what he's doing right now, is it? You'll get there on that closeout, won't you? All right? You'll gobble him up, all right? One dribble, one dribble. This is the most important thing, not your man. It's where this is. It's where this is, all right? Here we go. Everybody eyes on the ball. Quick, quick reversal. Yep. Quick reversal. Stunt. Stunt. Oh, 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 we ain't get our stunt. Where's the stunt? Right. You got a stunt for him, right? So Let's start in the corner. Right. So as you see that ball coming right now, he just stunted. Right? Swing it. Now, swung. Stunt to a recover and play your man. All right, guard him. 
All Last it time around, let's go. Guy. All it takes is one guy to yes. mess up. There you go. Good. 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 Swing that Good. ball quickly around. Good. Good. Quickly. Quick. Good. Quick. 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 There Good. we go. Another one. One more time. Good. Farther in the corner. Good. Good. Keep it going. One more. One Keep more. Keep it going. Quick. Stop. Good. Nice job. Get on in here, guys. You guys were fantastic today. Any questions? We, we're running out of time. Yes. So the, the question is, why do you square them up at top instead of forcing in one direction? All right. Again, for the main reason is, on this catch, we're counting that we've got our two, two teammates right there. All right. Now, if it's James Harden, we're all in trouble. All right. If it's uh, somebody who's not quite as talented, um, you know, we can maybe press the ball a little bit more. But our whole belief system is not to be beat off penetration. Yep. Right. And like you said, if that guy gets beat, basketball is a team game. That's for all the guys that need to help out. That's why if you want to play a single man sport, go play golf and tennis. Ba basketball, football, baseball, you depend on each other. You know, I played all great. I won three championships. All our teams were first or second in defense because we trust. Elijah Wan told me if I get beat, I got your back. And that's how you win. Trust on defense. Question. I think the same guy as like Jamal Crawford, he likes to like, prefer to dig with the ball and then shoot the jumper as opposed to take it all the way to the rim. All right. Good question. How do you play guys like Jamal Crawford who love to play with the ball off the bounce and rise up and shoot jumpers? You get up on him. <laughs> you know? I guarded Jordan Bird Magic. Don't let him catch. Yeah. <laughs> Don't let him catch the ball. I used to guard Jordan. I'm, 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 you ain't catching, even though he got 45 on me a bunch of times. <laughs> but every time I played him, he knew what, he, what kind of effort I was going to give. He said, Mario, you going to make me work again tonight? I said, yes. You know? And, and knowing, Don't let him catch. And knowing, you know, Jordan's the extreme. He could do both. Yeah. He go off the bounce, and later in his career, he'd be a very good shooter. But Crawford, to answer your question, is you can't give him any space. First, you deny him the ball, and then you're up in him, and you make him make plays off the bounce. He's uncomfortable to make plays off the bounce because he wants to, wants to yeah. shoot it. That's why these guys in the league, they hard to guard, man. <laughs> a lot of guys hard to guard. I think we're good. To what? Um, belief. When nobody else believed in me, I went to Mo Milwaukee. Is the only time I was happy to get cut. You know, I was, I went from being a four man in college to being the second shortest guy in camp. So I had to learn to play point guard within two days when I got invited to camp. So I really needed to work on my game. That was the best thing that happened to me. Me getting cut. So I chose to go overseas and really work on my game. So I worked on my shooting. I became a good shooter and I worked on my dribbling. So hard work and belief in your ability takes you a long, long way, brother. Takes you a long way. But I hope I see y'all at the game on Thursday. Y'all gonna be Thanks, wearing you guys. Orlando Thank Magic you. jerseys. All right, I hope. Hand. Thanks. Thank you, guys. Uh, thank you, first of all. Uh, really nice to, to be here. I was uh, excited when I saw this game uh, land on our uh, schedule uh, late, late this summer. So it's, it's nice to be back. Obviously, I think I spent 10 years here in this country uh, coaching. Another five or six summers uh, helping Chris Finch with the national team. So I've got a lot of history here. It's nice, nice to be back and nice to see everybody. I'm going to cover offense, okay? And what I'm going to try to cover is... Uh, what I call the open offense, uh, open flow offense. Uh, and I kind of want you to guide me as I go here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of show you the whole thing, uh, what it kind of looks like as, as the whole. I'm gonna break it down and show you some of the drills that we do from the very basic one on zero uh, to some of the 
two on zero, three on zero, four on zero, five on zero stuff to build it back up to the hole. And then we'll kind of bring them back again and, and let them go. But uh, I'm going to try with these guys here. We're, gonna, we're just going gonna to start playing kind of, kind of five on zero uh, in this offense. So we're going to try to try to get you from here in about 45 minutes. We're going to get you from knowing nothing about what we're trying to do to, to an, a pretty good level that you feel comfortable with that you guys could, could take forward with, with this, OK? Um, so, so I'm definitely going to need your help here. But I would like to ask you as well, you know, at any time, please stop me and ask me questions. Uh, if there's something, another direction you want me to go, stop and ask me. I'm not really going to show you many plays or things tonight, but I sure can at the end if we have more time. If you want any end of game plays or uh, set plays or any, any of that kind of stuff, I'm going to show you the framework of what I call the lifeblood of our offense. This is our open, what we call open. And this is what we're doing after we get a rebound and we're going up the floor, okay? We're going up the floor. And it's also what we do after we run a play that didn't work, okay? So we run a set play, they took it away from us, and then we go back to our lifeblood right back into the open offense. And we'll try to show you that too with these guys. We'll maybe walk them through a set play and it's covered and we'll get into the open to show you how that goes as well. So why don't, why don't you guys do me a favor, what I'd like you to do on, on those two benches right there just for now, if you could, by position, go one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five for me so I can see what you are. So, so I see a one, two, three, four, five. It doesn't matter what color jersey you have on or, or any of that kind of stuff. Okay? All right. Uh, sir, can I have that ball there, please? All right, excellent. Okay. <laughs> It's a difficult task. It's just like, like everybody, want, like, all the fives want to be fours, all the fours want to be threes, all the, all the ones want to be twos, all the whatever, yeah. Um, so you can see that I've done, I've put some tape out on the floor. This is kind of the first thing, uh, first here with the uh, offense, is uh, we got four spots that we like to fill, okay? Uh, and as you can see, we use the whole floor. Okay, so give me, uh, give me my one man. First one man, go on that X right there. Two man, take that corner there. Three, take the other corner. Uh, four, take the trail spot here. Okay, and five, why don't you come here and take what we call the dunker spot out here. Okay, see that X right there, yep. Okay, so this is kind of how we want to come up the floor. Okay, so we've just secured the rebound. Okay, you're bringing it up the floor. My center, go to the front of the rim first for me. Okay, so we're going to run our five, and I'll take these guys back to run here in a second. We're going to run our five, what we call on a rim run. You're running first to the rim, it's always our first option. You know, if you're going to run hard, work hard to get yourself one or two or three of these a game, we're going to give them to you. Okay, so you rim run, he, got, he has it, he's going to score it. Okay, but if not, then you filter straight out to either dunker. And it doesn't really matter. I used to teach it that we'd go that way all the time because we brought it, usually had a right-handed point guard, and he'd bring it up this side of the floor, and we wanted to attack right away. See all this space right here? This is an attacking offense. In fact, the first phase of the offense we call our attack phase. We're coming down, man, we're trying to score on you. Quick, okay, we're not jacking shots. We're not trying to score in seven seconds or less like Mike D'Antoni did, but what we're trying to do is move the defense into some serious rotations and into some trouble in seven seconds or less, okay? So we're trying to come and put a pace on you all night long, okay? We're trying to put a pace on you, and this is why we used to do this. But as I started coaching this over the years with uh, the D-League teams and now in the NBA, I found that this teams weren't going to let you just have this that much. They were better than that, and that the ball got, had to be swung and swung Okay, and come here. So instead of you going that way, you ran down the floor and you went that way, and that was maybe a better attacking area. Okay, after we passed it twice, that you went ahead and attacked it, and you're leaving space there, right? So you're going to go, go ahead and attack it and lay it in. Okay, so we work really hard on that, and we'll show you some of the drills of how we corner attack. Okay, go ahead and go back. I'll take that. Okay, so you don't, it doesn't really matter for you. Okay, you're not really going to post up in this offense. Even if I have, and I've had, and we do have, we have Alan Shunas now, who's a good post-up player. When we want to post him, we'll run some plays for him. 
Okay, we don't want him all night calling, following the ball around, calling for the ball, because what is he doing? He's jamming up the lane for our drives. Okay, and we've got a specific shot spectrum that we're after. We're after free throws, first and foremost. We're trying to get to the free throw line. Okay, we're after rim shots. Okay, dunks, layups, any shots right at the rim. Our next shot we're after in the NBA is a corner three. Okay, so we go from free throws to layups or rim shots to corner three. Our next shot we're after is a non-corner three, which is where this break here, anything around the arc we call a non-corner three. The next shot on our shot spectrum is a paint two, anything in the paint. And the last shot, the shot we tried to avoid completely is a non-paint two. Okay, like, like we do, a, uh, like come in here. We never, ever, ever, ever want you to shoot that shot there. Okay, it happens but we don't want you to do it. We'd rather you step back and take that one. Everybody understand why, right? That one right there is worth a whole nother point, right? And it's not, no matter what you say to anybody, the stats show that non-paint non twos, all these twos in this are shot at a very, very low percentage. They just are, okay? Like the only guy we let, we, we, have, we have a, when I first came to Toronto, we were shooting 35 non-paint twos a game, which is losing basketball, okay? And now we're down to 18 or 19, which is pretty good, okay? We want to get down a little low, but we have DeMar DeRozan, who's one of the highest in the league at shooting them, but he balances out because he also leads the league in fouls drawn on non-paint two jump shots. He gets people to foul him as he's shooting a lot, so that kind of translates into, into pretty good offense. Yes? Uh, what percentage are we hitting from here? It's up there. It's a uh, regular percentage, 43%, which makes it uh, 64 true shooting percentage because of the extra point, right? 43%, but it's worth three points, so you got to add another, you know, you got to add another, you know, to that. So, yeah, 64% true shooting percentage. Yep. Because obviously it takes longer to go to the defense than from any other spot. Great question. Why? Do, yes. So yes. Then it's longer to go on the defense. I think I think that the corner shot being 22 feet and the arc shot in the NBA being 23-9 makes enough of a difference. Um, so I think that was just a higher percentage play than that. But it's it's so it's becoming so close because everybody's shooting more threes now. The biggest thing you need to probably keep an eye on when you're shooting threes is catch and shoot, meaning catch and shoot, I'm gonna throw it to you, you're gonna catch and shoot it, yeah? Shot, yeah, beauty, okay? Versus back up, back up, dribble up, dribble up and shoot a three, okay? Okay, dribble up our low percentage. Anytime a guy has to ask to put it down and shoot a three, I mean, the percentage is like a big 10% throw. So catch and shoot from there and there are virtually the same, okay? Again, because you can't really dribble into corner threes, right? But it's just a better percentage, just a better percentage. Okay, so let's get moving with this so we can see it a little bit, okay? So you guys back up for me. Next group, are we ready? Five, four, three, two, one. You know who you are? Okay, come all the way down here, guys. Let's run into this. Okay, let's run into this. I only have tape down here, so I'll keep coming at you this way. Uh, next group. Who's my point guard in the next group? Do me a favor. Walk down there, ask one of those guys for a ball, okay? And you bring your five guys down here and get ready. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Come here. You get right here, okay? You guys can hear me okay down there? Yeah, okay. Uh, two man, you're going to fly. You guys, come here. Come here. Behind the basket. Get ready for the next group. Behind the basket, okay? Two man, you're going to fly out wide and run to your X. Three man, you're gonna fly out wide and run to your X. Be careful, you got people on the side there, but, but run to your X, okay? Point guard, you are going to get out here wide, butt to the baseline, why? Butt to the baseline, you can see everything coming at you here, okay? I don't, I don't want you trying to get outlet passes like this, okay? I want you to get them like this so you can see, and as soon as you catch it, snap your head and look, okay? I don't want you running people over, I don't want you traveling, just quick look. Get in the habit, a point guard. Every time you catch it, looking to see what's coming, 
Okay, but you're going to be moving quick. Five man, you're rim running, and out to the dunker spot, right? Dunker spot, because if we dump them off for you, you're going to dunk, right? Four man, you're going to work on, back up guys, just one more step. You're going to work on getting it in quick. Okay, I'm going to put it in over there. You're going to grab it. You're going to get as quick as you can, get it in, boom, get it out. You don't have to get two feet, just get one foot, get it out, get it up, boom, let it go. And then you're going to trail to your X, okay? What you're going to do, okay, is you're going to dribble down, and just for the sake of it again, you go that way. All I want you to do is dribble down, drive, and lay it in, okay? Then you're going to take it out again. We're going to do the same thing coming back here, okay? Then you're going to throw ahead for a rim run dunk for this guy. So you're going to go through and out this side, right, this time? You're going to go the other way, right? Yeah, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to lay it in. You got it? Everybody understand what we're doing? Okay, you guys back up just one more step. Don't want anybody stepping on anybody's feet. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. 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 Good. 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 Get out of the way. Okay, get out of the way. All right, good. Good. Next. Good. Should have came the same. Come this way now. Read him. Come this way. There it is. Excellent. Good. Go one more. Go one more. Keep going. Go one more for me. Okay, excellent. Let's go. You guys are on. Here we go. Okay, good. Good. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. That's good. Stay there. Good job. Next group. All right, come back down here since you're here. Next group. Everybody know what they're doing? Everybody understand? All right, here we go. Go. Go, go, go. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Here we go. Good. Good. Awesome. Awesome. Here we go. Good. Did you run through or did you just go back down the same side? Okay, good. Again, another one. Go. Come on, go. Go. Good. 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 Here we go. Here we go. Okay, good. Okay, that's good. Walk back on the outside. That group, that second group was a little lazier. Okay, those guys went up and down the same side. They should probably crisscross and run a little bit. Okay, just, just for, we want to run. We want to attack. We're going to do things at a quick pace and go fast, right? Okay, now, here's what I want you to do this time, okay? We're going to get into this offense a little bit, okay? So you're going to dribble down. Let's go down. The ball's already, you throw it in. Throw it in. Get going. Here we go. Get going. Here we go. Okay, you're going to dribble in now. Okay, hold on. Go that way for me, okay? Now, on drive and kick, Okay, on, when, we, when we drive it, okay, and again, we only want to dribble the ball on a direct attack to the rim if we can. We don't want guys messing around with it going side to side. Okay, so you're going to make an I'm coming down here. You're going to attack me, go by me. So for the sake of this, uh, of practice, you're going to attack here deep and get into the paint. Okay, so stay there for just a second. So if I'm guarding you and I see he's beaten, so stay there, right? I'm going to come, come on. I'm going to come over here and help. Okay, so what you do then is relocate. Okay, so you're going to just come right in here. Yep, perfect, right into there. I'm going to go here. You're going to dump it to him, and you're going to dunk it, okay, or finish it, okay? That's the dunker spot, but we'll call it the finishing spot, okay? So that's, that's it. That's all we want to do, okay? So now we're going to do that. We're going to go down that way and do it. You're just going to drive, dunk. You, everybody get to their spots, relocate, hit him, score. Next time down, give him the ball. So same thing, listen now, okay, your job is to get to the dunker, and then when you relocate, get back to the dunker, any of them, okay, for now. So next time down, make the same move, I come over, here he comes in here, okay, and let's say now you're going to make, go all the way to the baseline, you're going to make the baseline drift pass, yep, right there, boom, okay, now, we got to start filling the X's, okay, something has happened, we've made an attacking move, we got to start filling the X's. Okay, so you're going to go from that X to that X. You're going to go fill his X. You're going to swing it. You're going to swing it. Okay, now you attack again. So make a deep, come here this way. Since this way, make a good, boom, right there. Hit him. Okay, where are you going to go now? Come back out. Swing it. Fill. Swing it. Hold on. Exchange, just for the heck of it. Exchange, you two. Swing it here. Drive it. Kick it somewhere. Good? Stay, get outside the three-point line. Can you shoot the three? Can you shoot the three? Of course you can. You better be able to shoot it. You better be able to shoot Stay there. We're not done yet. Okay? Listen, you just kicked it there. Strong side. What will happen? Okay? You now need to fill there. 
Good. Fill out. Fill out. Swing it. Drive it. Dump it to my big man. Drive it. Drive it. Finish it. Okay? Good. All right, so here we go. We're going to go back that way. Here's what we're going to do. Listen. So for the first one, you're going to go dump it off to him. Okay, come on in here. Come on in here. You're going to dump it off to him. Next time, you're going to drive it, make the baseline drift pass, and I want you to play a little bit. Okay? I want you to pass, drive, pass, fill the X's. Let's see what it looks like. Really quick, super quick dip, uh, explanation. We'll see what we can do. Who's my guy taking it out? Come on over here, taking it out, guy. Be careful there. Don't step on anybody. Get it out quick. Where's my two man? Point guard, I want you over here too. Okay, make sure he kind of gets to know where you're at. Here we go. Go, 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 go. Good. Dunker, dunker. There he is. Dump off. Good. Let's come back. Let's come back. Heads up, everybody. Here we go. Here we go. Here he comes, here he comes. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Here it is. Swing that thing, swing that thing, swing that thing. Swing it again, swing it again. Ah, too slow. Drive it, drive it, drive it. Oh, good exchange. Kick it, swing it, swing it. Ah, okay, you drive it, it's okay. Ah, stop, 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 stop. Okay, good. Not bad, I'm on you. I'm trying to get you to play quick, okay? Super quick decisions. Pass it, catch it, shoot it. Pass it, catch it, shoot it. We don't want anybody holding and thinking, okay? We don't want anybody dribbling so the defense can load up on us, okay? So we're gonna make quick decisions. When you bounce it, when you bounce it, don't ever bounce it here and pick it up. Don't ever bounce it here and pick it up. Don't ever bounce it here and pick it up. Bounce it. I want you at the rim. Take it in there. And then pass for the sake of the drill. Okay, we're running the offense, but we're going to take every one of those layups. We're going to shoot 40 free throws a night because we're attacking the rim all the time. Okay? But we can't attack the rim if we're going to bounce it and play. Bounce it and play and let them dictate to us. No, we're going to dictate to them. Okay, come on. One more time. Back down that way, dump it off, let's feed our big man. He's blocking shots, he's rebounding, okay? We gotta give him the ball once in a while, okay? Big men get scared of this offense, but it's not, nothing to be scared of. Here we go. Nice job, good hustle, good hustle. Shot that thing! Got a good point guard here, right? He looks, he's running the show pretty good. Oh, look at these guys. Come on, Chris Carl. Here we go! Drive, 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 baseline, drift! Swing it, swing it, too slow, drive it! Good, good exchange. Swing it, swing it. Ah, he drove it again. Drive it deep. Swing it. Ah, not bad, not bad. Get out there. Good, good. Good. Get up there. Good. See how they're filling the spots. Good, good. Come on, come on. Keep playing. Keep going. Keep going. Come on, let him play here. Look at this. Good spacing. Using the whole floor. Go. Where you going? Where you going? Where you going? You're dying to get inside the three-point line, right? You're my stretch four man. Stay out here. We need you to stretch out here. Okay. From right here, go back up there. If the big man goes to my side, where would I go? What do you mean the big guy comes to your side? He was, well, he was just here. Okay. You're, you're cool here. Okay. You're cool. What he's trying to do is open up this driving lane. This is a bit wide, but we're going to exaggerate this. We're trying to drag his guy to come over here and go like this so he can lay it in all night. Right? He can lay it in all night. He's good. Okay? And then your guy's going to have to realize I'm coming over, then you're going to lay it in all night. Okay? Then his guy's going to realize you're landing in all night, so he's going to help, and then we're going to start shooting threes on him all night. Okay? It's kind of, we're working together. That's what we're building here. Everybody gets a chance here. Right? Okay. Uh, let's let these guys try. You guys ready? Stay, you guys just step off real quick. Down here. You guys ready? Point guard, where are you? All right, here we go. Throwing it in. You're going you're gonna to drive down? Why don't you drive down? Dump off, first one. I tell you what. Drive down, lay it in, first one. Drive down, dump off here. Drive down, baseline pass there. Okay? When you dribble it, what are you going to do? Hey, I'm going to attack the rim. Attack, attack, attack. Make decisions quick. Pass it, shoot it, catch it. Pass it, shoot it, catch it. Swing the ball, fill the spaces. Okay? All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Not bad. Not bad. Where are you going? Where are we going? Not bad, not bad, here we go. Whoops, he blew the layup, here we go. Here we go, okay, baseline pass now, here we go. Here we go, Phil, good, swing it. Swing it, drive it, get in there, yes. Yes, swing it, swing it, drive it. Not bad again, not bad again, we're doing this good, not bad. Swing it, swing it all the way corner. Okay, good, not bad, good, now what, now what? Oh, side dribble, don't like that, side dribble. Good, swing it, swing it. Okay, drive it. Nah, one dribble. Don't like it. Keep going. Keep going. What are you going to do? No, no dribbles like that. No. There you go. Good. Good. Keep going. Swing it. Nice. 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 Stop. Okay. And I know, listen, I know like doing this right here is like the basic shell of it, right? 
And I know it looks like, oh, well, they're just passing it around the outside and whatever, okay? But once we start teaching the drill, the skills that go with this offense, how to attack the rim, how to attack, kick, and swing, like one of the things we always want to do is, is once we attack and kick, swinging the ball, whoever, next guy, the first guy out, swing it. Don't like to re-drive it very often. Like if I drive in here and kick it to you, I mean, I've already collapsed the defense. If you drive it right back in here, you're coming into a wall. We've collapsed them. You swing it. They come back out again. Then they're dead usually, okay? And it hardly ever goes to very many passes, okay? Again, it's an attacking two, three, side of the floor, side of the floor, boom, boom. We're into something. We got a shot we want. We got a layup. We got a free throw. We got a corner three. We got an arc three, and we're pretty good at that, okay? All right, now, here we go. Where's my first group at? Here we go. You guys step off for a second. Now we're going to build this thing a little bit more. Okay, we're going to go down now. You're going to finally get a leave. Believe it or not, I'm going to let you leave the dunker. Okay? You get a leave on, let's call it, three, let's call it four and seven. Okay? What we're going to do, we're going to count out our passes. Okay? One, as soon as you outlet it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On nine, no matter who has it, we're shooting. Okay? We're taking a shot on nine. So if there's something you have the ball in a weird place, you don't like it on nine, then drive it to the rim because we always like that. Okay? We always like drives to the rim. Okay? Now, what did I say? Four and seven? On four and seven, you are going to go set a ball screen. Okay? So listen to me now. Start thinking. When you see it on two, and it's over here, and it's going from there on three, and it looks like it's going there, you should be anticipating your screen's going to be on this guy over here. Okay? Because what we don't, it'll probably happen here a little bit. What I don't really want, again, is slow decisions where, where this guy's got the ball, and we're on four, and he's going, <sighs> and you go, oh, yeah, I'm supposed to be screening. And you come up, and the defense reloads itself, and they know exactly what we're doing. What we do want is a penetrate, kick, kick, swing, wham, ball screen, and we're back at him again. Okay, again, it's a free-flowing, your decision, but this kind of drill gets you some rhythm on when you can set random ball screens. Okay? Four and seven. In the game, they'll become random. I mean, I'll, I don't call them out at four and seven. We only do that for practice. But once we do it in practice a lot, you'll get the feel of when to go set them and when not to, okay? Yeah, everybody is. One, two, three, four. Yes, question. Yes. If something, nine, you can drive, okay? And you are Mr. Versatile, okay? You're a big, you're our four, but if you have the ball in four or seven, he's running ball screen with you, okay? That's cool, right? You can come off a ball screen and make a play, right? Okay, so when you set screens, you roll. Don't be popping. You roll, go to the rim, get back out to a dunker. And then on seven, get ready to hustle back out there again. All right, let's see what happens. All right, let's see what happens. Here we go. One. Pretty good. Two, three, four, there he is. Boom, look at that, isn't that beautiful? Five, six, look at this, seven, beautiful again, beautiful again, eight, nine. That's awesome, stop. That was awesome, give him a hand. That was awesome. Oh, they're gonna, they're gonna play through the applause. There they go, one, three, where are we at, count. Good, good, good exchange. Five, six, nice, nice. There he is, a four or five ball screen. Good luck guarding that. Good. Uh. Nine. Oh, yeah, for the three, get in there, baby. Off the window. Okay, next group. Here we go, next group. Give you guys a shot at it. Hey, great job again. Good job. Excellent. Excellent, right? All right, here we go. Ready? You guys know what you're doing? Feeling good? Who's taking it out? All right, man. You're the four man? Awesome. You can handle off a ball screen? Yeah, boy. All right, here we go. Nice job. Would to get it in quick? Would to get it in quick? One. That's a bad pass. Two, three, four. Okay, okay. We're waiting a little bit. That's okay. Good. Go off it. Roll. Five, six, seven. Nice job. Ah! ah. Oh, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Nine, nine, nine. Okay, okay. It's okay. First time. First time. A little better this time. You know what you're doing now. Set the ball screen on four and seven. You had the guy ready. He was ready. I got to give him a better start to this, right? One, two, three, 
four, side screen and roll. That's okay, deep one, roll. I got, him, I got this group playing a little too quick. Okay, give him a hand, give him a hand, good job. They're a little too quick, but that's okay. I, I was on them about, I don't want slow stuff. I want, I want pass, catch, shoot as quick as I can. First group, here we come again, let's go. We're gonna roll down again, this time. This time we're gonna set a drag screen. You know what a drag screen is? Okay, a drag screen is point guard's coming down. Four man, you're trailing, you're gonna set a ball screen. Okay, so he's gonna be bringing it down here. You're gonna come set a screen, he's gonna come off you. You're gonna pop, because you're a four man. Okay, he's gonna hit you. You're gonna catch and fire it to that corner and go follow on with another ball screen. Understand? Yeah? And then we're playing to nine. And you're back in the action. You're back in the action. Let's go five and, no, let's go four and seven again. Four and seven. The pass can't start after the why don't we start it on, why don't you start it? You're my point guard. When you start counting, we start counting, okay? You run the team. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> he didn't start counting yet. Come off that drag screen, come off it. Good, pop. Good, boom, come on. Come on, swing it, swing it, follow, follow, pass and follow, follow him. There you go, there you go. Now we play, now we play, let's go. What? Wow, one, two, three, here we go, come on. Give it to him, give it to him, four, there it is, boom. Oh yeah, roll, five, uh, six, there's seven, look at this, look at that timing. These guys are great. Seven, roll hard, eight, nine, oh, ten, we're gonna keep passing, shot clock violation. Good, come back. Come back again, we got it, we got it. Here we go, here we go. Bring it off there, bring it off there, bring it off there. Ah, too slow, too slow. Drag, yeah, that's got me spacing. Count, what's your count? What? Yes. <laughs> Somebody fill that, nice run. Four, good timing, big man. Five, boom, that's wide open. Those four men can't help themselves. We skip seven again. Make one of those for me. All right, not bad. Good shot. We got a corner three. Good job. Good job. Okay, let's go. Next group. Next group. All right, next group. This time, who's my four man? Here? Here's the four. You're trailing. My fault. Okay. Point guard, you're going to bring it down. He's going to be trailing you. Your first pass is going to be to him. Okay? On the four spot. You're going to swing it to the corner. Pass and follow. Pass and follow means. Pass the ball and follow with the ball screen, okay? Then we're rolling, we're going on your count. You're still screening on? Four and seven, you guys are awesome. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Swing it, swing it, good, there it is. There it is, we changed this to uh, swing. This is called swing, instead of drag, this is swing. Okay, deep corner screen and roll. Corner screen and roll, not bad, not bad. Good, good, come on. Oh, tried to reject it, goes back off it. Oh, it's okay, keep playing, keep playing, it's okay. All right, here we go, coming back, coming back, coming back. Trailing, trailing, there he is, boom, boom, that's good, boom, good job. Somebody's counting for me, please. Two, okay, these guys are good pass, they like to pass. Where you at, five men? Okay, okay, I see you. Stop, stop for a second, stop. Who's on an X? Raise your hand. Who's on an X? Raise, oh, 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 hey, get back over here. Okay, nobody's on an X hardly at all except for my man in the corner. Okay, and it, it happens. Okay, and again, the X's are not, you don't have to be on there. They're not, it's not etched in stone. They're guidelines, but you got to watch it because this is what starts happening. That spacing's not good enough for driving. Okay, this spacing's not good enough for driving. Okay, there is times when we get overloaded, okay, and we have to back cut out to, to respace ourselves, but just again, watch them. Watch it so that you could have very easily, you were here and he was there, you could have very easily stopped here, which would have made him stop there, because since you came over here, he felt his spacing was too far away, so he came over, okay? So watch, watch your spacing, okay? All right, good job though, good job, give him a hand, good. Next group is on. <laughs> Next group is on. I gotta get to the, uh, some of the drills here in a second, but let's do another one. Let's go double drag now. Whew, what's drag? Oh, we got new, new players in? What, what position? Awesome, you're gonna take it out. Okay, you know what a drag is? Drag screen? Okay, drag, point guard comes down, you're trailing the play right into a ball screen. 
double drag is instead of you rim running, you both are going to settle. So it's, you're going to come down, and they're both going to come. And you're going to come off both of them. In five, you're going to roll. In four, you're going to pop. Then you're going to pass and follow. Pass and follow, you know what that is? Pass, follow, ball screen. Okay? Start your count a little earlier. Mm -hmm. Okay? We're going to still go on four and seven. Okay? And then we'll, we'll move on to the next drill. Here we go. Oh, my fault. Go, my fault. <laughs> Double drag, both of you, both of you. Roll, perfect. Roll, five man, pop out. Little, little tough spacing there. Okay, not bad, come off it. Okay, we're a little screwed up here, but we're okay. Good, drive that corner drive, corner drive. We haven't anybody had to make a corner drive yet. Good, 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 seven, seven. Ah, bounced it to the side. Okay, not bad. Come on, back on it, ooh. Okay, okay, finish it, somebody. Good, we got three shots at the rim there. We got three shots at the rim in one possession. So we're trying to do, get rim shots. Whoa, boom, 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 roll. Hey, give him some space. Not bad, follow. Okay, okay. Okay, keep going. Good, we're there, good, good. Oh, he didn't, now it's over here. Now it's over here, it's okay. Good, nice job. Come on, man, we got it. Good, good, good shot, good shot. Anybody have any questions? Anybody have any questions right now? Anybody have any questions so far? Yes, sir. Come here, guys. Stay here for just a second. Do you have, uh, do you have uh, the, 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 the short corner guys to, to off full screen cutters? So do you use the dunker guys basically yes. to off full screen guys popping out to the corner? Off do I use this they, guy? Once they throw kick, then yeah. Like, do you use him to screen? Yes. yes. Okay, so, so again, this is a pretty basic, you can do a lot of stuff with what you want to do here, right? And this is kind of an easy way to teach it basically to younger players. We just use the five all the time. A lot of, when we start going for real, and I, and I can throw them, I can let them do it. Like, we'll let both our fours and five screen, okay? Then, then sometimes we'll say, we'll say that maybe the three is going to be our screener. There's some matchup we want where, and we do that a lot too, because we get, we get uh, trapped with the Raptors when, when uh, our backup center, uh, Bismarck Biombo is in the game. Teams blitz us because they, they want him to have the ball, right? So they blitz our guard. So we start putting him, just leaving him in the dunkers and setting screens with our threes. Okay, we go small, small on them. Just to, again, we want to free up our, our handlers and just to change things up. So, but a lot of times, four and five are ball screening down there. Okay? And there's no like, this isn't, this isn't this patterned. It's more of a, you know, when they feel it, when they feel a pass and follow, they pass and follow. When the four ends up in the corner a lot, take that up there. I got Pat Patterson here for our team. Take it on your X, please. Okay, the ball gets swung over to here, and I'm Pat Patterson, a four man. I see that I'll go set a step up here. Boom, go to the rim, go. And then I just pop back behind him. Boom, that's a shot, that's a swing. And here we go. So it's a, you know, there's, again, there's like a zillion things you can do with it based on your own personnel that you're coaching. Okay, a lot, a lot of things. Okay, how many basketballs do we have? Enough for, Enough for everyone. Everybody grab one then. Everybody grab one then. Okay. I got 10 minutes, so I got to fly through some of this stuff, okay? And you're going to see, uh, again, one line. One line. You're first. Come here. What's your name? Josh. Josh? Okay, here we go. One line. Back up just a little bit more. Anybody need one more? Okay, so... A lot of this offense is predicated on the ability to attack and finish, okay? And you're going to think this is really simple, but this is how we start almost every single practice right here, okay? And I start with a regular layup, which I call right hand, left foot, okay? Then the next time you come back to the front of the line, you're going to do a right hand, right foot, okay? Then the next time you're going to come back in and do a left hand, left foot, left hand, this side of the basket. Then the next time down, you're going to do a right foot, left hand, this side of the basket. Okay? And we just kind of keep going like that. Okay? Because what we found is we're playing at such a pace, attacking the rim all the time. We're just attack, attack, attack. There's like a million different layups you need to be able to make. Both hands, both feet, jumping from here, jumping from here underneath, over, just, and it's amazing, we just, so we just started doing layups all the time. Right foot, left foot, right hand, left foot, reverse, inside, outside, right, everything we could think of, and it, and it, and it started really paying off. We started making some incredible layups.
Okay, again, we're trying to put the pressure on the ref. We're causing a lot of car crashes at the rim because we're going so hard. We're going to shoot a lot of free throws, but we'd like to have some and ones and make the layups as well. Go. Good, go, 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 go. On re get your own rebound, go. Good, go. <clears throat> when you get there, stop. <clears throat> okay, stop, hang on. Three, four, five, six. You guys are good. You go over there. Go to that basket. We've got too many guys. We're going to use both baskets. Okay? Now we're going. Right foot, right hand. Go, 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 go. Right foot, right hand. Okay, watch them now. Watch how hard this starts getting really quickly, right? Okay, we want to get better though, but you'll, you'll be amazed at how good they can get at this stuff. Okay? What was that? Left foot, left hand? Okay, you got them, you tell them, you tell them. Good, left hand, left hand, good. Good. Left foot, left hand, left foot, left hand, left foot, left hand. Left foot, left hand, uh, 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 uh. stop, stop, stop. Okay, that's where you gotta watch them. Stop, everybody. Left foot, left hand right here, let's watch this, okay? Let's watch this, go, left foot, left. Okay, not bad, there's one for one. Two for two, we made it. Good, good. Wrong foot. Not bad. Not bad, go, go. Okay, stop. Okay, stop. Now, we're gonna move you out here just a little bit. We're gonna do reverses now. Everything's on that side of the basket now. Okay, so start with left foot, right hand. This one, right here, okay? Go, 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 go. Good, good. No dunks, no dunks. We gotta, we gotta work on our finishing. No dunks, good, good. We gotta work on our touch, using the backboard. Go, good, 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 good. Here we go, good, good. What was that one? Other foot, okay, good. Give me the left hand this time. Left hand this time, good, good, good. Good, good, good. Okay, stop, that's good, hold on. Give me your basketball. Okay, now, here's what I want. So you don't have a ball, so you're gonna pass to him. I want you to, sp stay here. I want you to sprint to this X right here. Sprint to this X and attack the rim. Okay, and I want just a left, right hand off the left foot over the front of the rim, okay? But the key is this corner attack, okay? So then after he's gone, you're gonna go ahead and the guy behind you has the ball, right? Okay, go, run, 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 run. Give it to him, give it to him, go! Good, 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 excellent. Give it to him, good, 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 good. Now switch hands for me, switch hands, left hand, left hand. Nice, left hand, left hand, nice, left hand, good. You guys are great, man. Great job, fellas. Great job. Good, good. Reverse layup, reverse layup, reverse. Good, good, go, go, good. Hey, nice one, nice one. It's all right, good, finish it, finish it. Get on, yes, yes. You're getting better already. Left hand, reverse, hey, left hand, reverse. Left hand, reverse. Good, good, good. Okay, stop, stop. Great job, give him a hand, give him a hand, give him a hand, give him a hand. You get the idea, okay? But the, the corner attack, nobody practices that enough. And that's, a, that's critical for the offense. The ball gets swung from bang, bang, bang. You gotta be able to drive this thing. It's a one dribble right to the rim play, okay? And you gotta be able to drive this thing this way and this way and finish. Anybody have any questions so far? I know that was like super basic start to building it, but like, just a couple things. When I coached at uh, my last job in the, in the NBA Development League, um, this is where a lot of this stuff came from, from the Houston Rockets. They were trying to develop this system of pace of play, uh, having more possessions than, than their opponent. Um, the, the shot spectrum we talked about, 
and this is a lot how we built a lot of it, okay? And um, it's really not that difficult, as you can see here. Like, here in 45 minutes, these guys have some semblance of what they're doing. I mean, like, I wouldn't be that afraid to, like, throw it up with these guys right now and let them, let's, hey, we're going to run open today, okay? We'd make our share of mistakes, and it'd get stagnant and whatever, but, but I mean, we, we normally would have more time to practice and build and learn from it. And again, there's a whole bunch of other starts to the offense. I just gave you a few, drag, double drag, swing, um, et cetera. I mean, we've got a whole slew of ways we get into it before we start playing open and a lot of other things we can do with it. But, but I think the skill work, the running the floor, the making layups, the aggressive attitude, talking about attacking people's feet, attacking the basket, attacking the paint, getting to the foul line, those are things we talk about like constantly. And that's what we do. Like, we come out on the floor, okay, and we don't, we don't horse around too much throwing up shots. Even when I, was, when I was the head coach at Rio Grande, we never, ever, ever let our guys take a non-paint two. Not even in practice warming up, okay? They would come in here, they would do some form shooting, and then if they were going to continue shooting, they had to go behind the three-point line, okay? And at the other end, these guys were doing these layups. Right foot, left foot, running to the corner, attack, working on their footwork, attacking. Just lots of layups, different ways of making them, lots of, lots of shooting. And we did tons of drilled, recorded corner three-point shooting. Like our guards and wings would shoot, I don't know, minimum of 100, but sometimes like 300 in a practice, recorded with the clock ticking. You know, they, that's, what they would, that's what they were doing. And they used to say to me, man, in, pre, in training camp, man, are we going to shoot a lot of threes? We, I hope so. All we do in practice is shoot, practice and practice all these, th yeah, and we did. Okay, we did, we did shoot a lot of threes. But it wasn't the threes, okay, people were scared of how many threes we'd make. It wasn't the threes that, that, that killed them. It was all the layups and free throws because they were so worried about the threes. The threes were psychologically hitting them. And they were out trying to cover us, and man, we were just attacking their feet and laying it in all the time. Or going to the free throw line 40 times a night. And it was, it was a huge, uh, it was a huge um, you know, factor. We won a lot of games, and that was, a lot of it was that. And I will say this, too. Um, even though they wanted, they, you know, the Rockets kind of instructed me to coach that offense, and that was primarily what they're concerned of, we did not ever forsake it for our defense. Okay, we, all, we, we literally like had a sound defensive plan. We talked to them about how our defense created offense, as you know, and getting stops. It was easier to run this stuff and get to the rim after stops than it was after makes, uh, et cetera. And I think, again, we were the highest scoring team in the league by a long shot, and that's all everybody talked about. But really what we were really good at was our defense. We, we guarded people really well, and nobody ever really thought of us that way. And then in the end of the year rolled, we end up ranked like one or two in like 12 different defensive categories, field goal percentage, taking away the three. And what we tried to do with that was just reverse the shot spectrum. <laughs> we tried to do all, at all costs, protect the rim. Tried at all costs not to foul and give them free throws. Tried to take out the corner three. And, and any time they shot a non-paint non two, we were celebrating. Even when they were going in, we knew that over the course of the game or the course of the season, they weren't gonna beat us if they kept shooting you know, 35 non-paint twos a game, okay? All right, uh, anybody got any questions at all? Anything at all in cover? We good? That's it, I guess. Nothing okay. <laughs>